In this world, there is a lot to unlearn than to learn. Did you ever hear when Jesus said that uh, the kingdom of heaven um, is for those who are like little children? Now, why did Jesus say that the kingdom of God is for those who are like little children? Because little children have very less to unlearn. But uh, over the years, as you're growing in your life, you get to learn so many things which have no sensible action, no sensible need. You have learned so many things which are just a, a waste of time. Like for example, when we were in school, we were taught so many baseless things that you never apply to your life right now. You are taught how to dissect a grasshopper, you are taught how to be this and that, you are taught a lot of useless information. Again, in religious circles, people are also taught very useless information. That, uh, you know, <laughs> I just don't want to get very deep into religion, but religion is all the same thing, that we need to do some this and this and this to reach to God, and that uh, it's like God has set a, a certain type of thing that uh, He is waiting for you to do so that you can trigger Him to bless you. And yet God says all that He needs you to do is just to believe. And for you to believe, you must hear something. Because how can you believe what you don't know? You understand? But religion keeps on telling you there is some things that you need to do. That's why your life is not moving ahead. And this is why this and this and this. Again, when you come to social circles, we have also been taught that uh, there is this politician who is coming to sort out your life. Uh, when we get him to the seat, you know, he's going to change uh, the way we operate. You see, uh, we don't have money because this guy has messed up this and this tribe has messed up this. My friends, there's a lot to unlearn in this world. And uh, the moment you understand that everything revolves around you and there's nothing outside of you, that is the moment you've started waking up to real life. Because God has put all that we need, everything that we need in Christ Jesus. And Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ or Christ Jesus, it is the fullness of man, of the spiritual man. You see, God became man. He basically became you so that you can become God. And uh, when you do not understand this, you are still uh, tied in the confinements of your mind because it is only in our minds where we create all the illusions that we have. And uh, over the years we have created so much in our minds that we do not understand what is our real thought and what is a fake thought. Remember, like I've told you before, our flesh is always fighting against the spirit and the spirit is the real you remember you came from god you are part of god all right and you got a body and this body has his own senses has his own free will and the body wants to do his own things remember when god put his breath into the dust of the earth which is you which is the flesh then the flesh or the dust became a living soul and a soul has emotions, has his own mind, free will, okay? So your flesh wants to do things its own way. And your spirit, the spirit man wants to do things its own way. That's why all the time you're told, when you pray, get into your closet or get into your house and close uh, your doors or close your door and speak to your father who is in heaven and your Father who is in heaven shall reward you in the open. What does that verse mean in Matthew 6.6? 6? It basically means, when you want to pray, get down deep into yourself. Get out from the things that you see, from the five senses, and get deep down into yourself. And close your doors. What is your door? The doors to... The windows to the soul or the windows to the inner you are the eyes, the ears, the five senses, smelling, touching, tasting and all that. Get out of that and internalize yourself. And God is always going to be speaking inside you. And uh, he's going to debate with you and tell you what is right. You see, the hardest part of man is thinking. Men don't want to think. People, Some people would rather die than think. And it is estimated that only probably 
5 to 10 percent of people in the world are the only ones who think all the other people work upon suggestions you your TV is suggesting to you this, your radio is suggesting this, your politician is suggesting this, your religious leader is suggesting this. You see, everything that people do in the world is on the basis of suggestion. So when do you ever sit down and internalize and think and take time to ask, God, what are you telling me from within? And the moment you think and ask yourself, God, what are you saying from within? He surely is going to answer. Because God says, seek me and you shall find me. Meditate upon God's word day and night. And how can you meditate upon God's word if you're noisy out there? You have to be silent. Sit down. Relax. Talk to yourself. Talk to your inner man, the spiritual man. Ask him, hey, what is that thing which is inside my mind which I do not understand? Remember the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, be still and know that I am God. How are you going to know that God is God if you do not be still, if you do not keep quiet? Sometimes we speak so much that we are only speaking suggestions of what we hear. It is about time you start resonating, sitting down and asking God, God from within. Remember, the kingdom of God is within you. And if God lives within you, then you have to go into the spirit world which is the fourth dimension. You have to go inside yourself. And that's why we close our eyes when you're meditating, when you're thinking. That's the reason why we have to listen to ourselves from the inner man, because that's where God dwells. And he wants to speak to you. And he tells you, hey, please, I want you to unlearn so many things that you've learned. I want you to listen to me. And if only you do what you, the inner man tells you, then the outer man will have no power over you. Because our struggle, it's always with the flesh. And the flesh wants to do sinful things. It wants to corrupt you. It, it, it only wants to show you the third dimensional world, that it's all there and that all your trouble are there. But it all starts in the mind. It is about time, friends, we started thinking and taking time to just be silent, meditate, and take our word as law the word that has come from our mind because God dwells in our minds and that is exactly who God has created us to be and he wants us to be full and to renew our minds remember the book of Romans tells us be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind you have to renew your mind from the old beliefs from the things that you have always thought about to be true which you have, you have purely no proof that they are true Renew yourself from all that and ask God, where is the beginning point of me? I'm now clean. I've refreshed myself. I've cleansed up, cleansed up everything. And here I am. Tell me what I need to do.